Hey, my powerful brave Scorpio family, welcome to Scorpio Intuitions. So family, I hope y'all are having a wonderful day. If nobody told you today that they love you, I want you to know I love your beautiful self. I love you long time. Yes, I do. Because you're so freaking lovable. You know, some people just can't see. It's a proven fact. There are blind people out there in the world. And you know, we just can't expect them to see the things that we're able to see. But with that being said... Let's get into this energy, see what spirit has for us. Messages of clarity and truth. Mm. First thing we have is coffin. Mm. So I feel like that's a situation that has ended. Um, spirit says that ending has brought about new beginnings, meaning that there's something that you let go of, you change from, you transform, meaning you are no longer the old new. When Nikki said you did the old body, that's kind of what she meant. Like my whole mindset is totally different. You could never have the person that I was because that person is dead and gone. Dead and gone. And right here we have heart with the key. Welcome in and love meeting the one. I have a really strong energy that somebody is really wanting to connect with you. And it's gonna be like uh like Romeo and Juliet. Hot on the platter just to get you wet, but without the tragedy part and Romeo and Juliet. It's gonna be that love, that type of same type of energy feel and spirit says that that it looks like new love is coming in. For some of you guys, you've already met this person. Uh, for others, you have not met this person. Maybe this person is just sitting back watching you. You know, we do have watchers. <laughs> but right now, Scorpio Spirit says you have so many options. So make sure that you are following your intuition when it's dealing with bringing people in or allowing people into your, your space. Because, you know, we're real selective. We are very selective on the energies that we allow in our space. Why? Because we can feel everything. And the thing is, I need somebody that's already transparent because I can already to see through your soul and because i'm transparent we just need to both be able to see through each other so if something is there we gonna see it and we can address it okay but right now i do be, um feel that there is a new love coming in and it's because you have you have uh put away the old it's like you're no longer dealing in the ways of with the people that you used to deal with because you have changed and i do see here with the mask there's somebody I said, of somebody watching you, right? But they have not been open or verbal about it. I feel like this is an admirer that has been admiring you from a distance. They are, they really not sure on how to come at you. It's something about you that is very um. Uh, top of my honey. <laughs> it's something about you that is very alluring, intriguing, and, and and it's like somebody is really stuck in their head on how they want to present an offer to you. Not just that, but they want to see if it'll be possible to even have something. Um, you know, long term with you. This person is is trying to look at the good and the bad. For some of you guys, you are uh, a very spiritually uh, in tune. And this person is trying to see, is your spirituality going to go with theirs? Or is your lifestyle going to go with theirs? That's the reason why they just watch it. But this person feels like there's a need for them to act because I feel like there's a lot of momentum around you, Scorpio. Meaning you got a lot of people just looking at your beautiful self. And they are trying to see where and how can I come in and be a part of Scorpio life without waiting too long because one thing is time is of the essence and I feel like this person knows that if they spend too much time uh without uh ex without really communicating how they feel about you or trying to move forward they feel they know that that time is not going to be on their side and they're probably going to miss out on a chance to be with the most beautiful is powerful is loving loyal is uh person in the whole wide world which is you yep they don't want to mess that up you don't look they don't want to do it messages of clarity and truth mm-hmm also, I don't know why this just came to me, but uh, family, you have some of the people that you, uh, somebody that you dealt with in the past, their friends are wanting to talk to you. So for whoever that is ref uh, applying to, some of these people are friends of somebody that you may have dealt with or associated with, and they're trying to see how can they implement it without looking or being like a snake. Anyway, so then the next thing we have is Cupid's Arrow. This is uh, have faith, love is coming, surprises. So the spirit is saying right now because certain things have ended, uh, situations that now there is an energy of love in the air, and we have two of the meeting the one, um, you know, surprise invitation. I do feel like you will be getting us uh, unexpected, um, 
it's an unexpected message and 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 i know y'all like it's not gonna be from somebody you don't want because you know you already got them blocked <laughs> but not them it's somebody new and i feel like you're probably when this person hits you up you're probably not even gonna be like dang i didn't even know they liked me like that you know how that go people be like oh i was having crushes on you since been full time but I feel like somebody is about to open up and, and really want to explore what their feelings can bring into a connection with you. I see here at one point in time, somebody feels that they are not enough. So I feel like that's what somebody is stuck in their head on how to present you. See, I'm seeing more than one person trying to express their need or love. And, and the truth is the one that speaks up will probably get the chance because you miss all the shots you don't make. So if I was y'all, I'd just be throwing them bitches up. Make one, one body go make it. <laughs> one ball bound to go into the basket. <laughs> Facts. All right, messages of clarity and truth. All right, so right now I do see stabbed in the back. So right now this is reminding me because I see here. Okay, so for some of y'all, and now look, I know this, you know, Scorpio reading got to go a little deep, but I got to tell you what I see. I feel like there's some, that situation that you, cause, because when I said, uh, that, that I feel like somebody used to talk to friends, want to holler at you, but they want to see how they're going to do it. So it won't be sneaky. This is popping up again. Cause I just got stabbed in the back. Right. So I feel like there's somebody that you don't deal with no more, right? Because they were not consistent. They really was for everybody because they really didn't know what they wanted, right? And I feel like um, that you ended this. Like you just really disconnected from this person. So disconnected from this person uh, allowed you really to open up your heart to receive new love. I feel like the individual that you disconnected from, they really didn't feel like they was enough for you. And this person could have stabbed you in the back. Now on the other hand, because what we have in here is, is new love coming in, but but this new love, somebody was being quiet about how they felt because of maybe was a person that they was dealing with. They know they was dealing with you. And you know how when you got some friends, be like, oh man, they're like, this friend ain't shit. You know, man, you the best over a good person like that, but they ain't got nothing to do with me. I felt like this person started uh, looking into you more. And now the whoever is associated with the person you no longer give no fucks about, they want to come in, but... They don't want to be the sneaky person. They don't want to come in like, you know, like they sneaky or like they were trying to go uh, back door one of their friends or something. I do see there's a lot of passion. You do have somebody in your past that is reminiscing on the good, the good times, the good times. Somebody's reminiscing on the good times. And right now I feel like somebody who has been holding back their feelings and emotions about to come towards you and they're going to really express uh, how they feel. They want to give you some type of clarity. And I feel like at that point, you're going to have to make a decision on if you want to let somebody in or you, uh, somebody new in, somebody old in, but you're going to have that opportunity because options are all around you. All right, Scorpios. I love you. Love yourself. Bye, family. Mwah.